The cooperative concept came into force in Singapore in 1925 after the Straits Settlement Cooperative Society's Ordinance was passed in 1924. The pre-war days saw a steady growth of cooperatives and activities. However, it was anything but a mass movement. After the Second World War came a revival of the cooperative idea. The shortage of basic essentials and food, demand for cheaper housing, and need for thrift and loan presented an opportunity for cooperatives to bloom. It was the golden period of the traditional cooperative society. In 1969, the Trade Union Seminar on the Modernization of the Labour Movement ushered in a cooperative revolution. The decade after, the Watershed Seminar saw the setting up of NTUC cooperatives. The Singapore cooperative movement enjoyed the renaissance. It transformed into a mass movement. The impact was tremendous. Today, more than 1.3 million members own 82 cooperatives in Singapore that annually contribute more than $600 million to the economy. Thanks to the cooperative pioneers who lived out their conviction to make a difference. The cooperative way. Here's what some of them have to say. All my life I have depended on cooperatives. Uh, from the time I started working, when we got married, when we bought a house, when I had no money. You know, for society I got two thousand dollars. And then you had to buy a fridge, you know, you furnish your house. Cooperatives were started because of concern for others, concern for the farmers, and it moved on to all kinds of urban cooperatives, thrift and loan society. We must have the same concern for them, but also make sure that the money we manage is managed professionally. We can't just give money because you're poor. Huh? It's not our function. I became a member of Mercantile Thrift and Loan Society Cooperative in 1949 when I was working in the French bank. I took a loan to buy a new bicycle. In those days, thrift and loan societies helped members to pay off debts, getting off the clutches of unscrupulous moneylenders. Some took loans for festive occasions like Hari Raya Pasa, Lunar New Year, etc. Although the co-op served their members well, the lack of finance hampered their development. The contributions to the Central Cooperative Fund were insufficient. The smaller co-op stagnated. When the SNCF became the sole national centre after the NTUC-owned co-ops were set up, contributions to the CCF increased substantially. With better financial resources, SNCF and its affiliates were able to engage in more promotional and educational activities. This also led to the consolidation of smaller co-ops and setting up new ones. Among the cooperative, they want very strong political statement. They say that the cooperative is a bloodless revolution because you help yourself. Because Childcare. So, because in the mid 70s, we encourage the women to come forward to work. So, who is going to take care of the children? So, Silo uh, and NPC set up the first uh, community childcare. I think in the 90s, Sir Jam Mr. Lin Boon Heng asked me to set up the uh, food fair. Uh, the purpose of food fair is to stabilize uh, the day to day meal for the uh, workers and also the price of coffee and tea. The objective of cooperative is to use 
capitalist <clears throat> management business operation experience, uh, but we distribute the revenue in a more socialist way. So I'm very happy that today NTC have formed this holding and uh, beside uh, execute the business objective, but also uh, keep an eye on whether the company still play the social role. Start with them, then build on them. So I spend a lot of time. Walk the talk. I want my shareholders not to look at the share price. I want my shareholders in to see the price to shop. The more you shop, the more dividend, the more discount you get. And if I can give you more discount, I make more money, then I give you more dividend. So, so that's a fundamental difference. Whereas if you're a company, public company, you the shareholders demand. If you want to do public service, I still believe that uh, you cannot be a listed company. And, and also the mindset of the executives will be different. They are, they are bottom line, they are profit driven, they pay bonuses. For public good, it's better to have a cooperative model or a sole government initiative. My involvement in the cooperative movement began in 1979 when I became a board member of the NTUC Welcome Cooperative. The key aim of the cooperative was to keep prices of essential commodities like rice, sugar, cooking oil affordable to the low-income workers. The business environment is fast changing, especially with rapid introduction of new ideas and technology. Organizations and companies must be able to stay ahead of the competition to achieve success. They have to constantly review what they aim to do and provide their members as well as other customers and always be ready to search for more effective ways to achieve their aims and objectives. Based on my experience and observation is that cooperatives and social enterprises can make significant contributions to Singapore in the years to come. making profit to give to shareholders, we plow them back to the members. So that was the most important point. And if you are able to communicate this clearly, then you get a lot of people, many people who want to join a cooperative. Not only uh, uh, drove customers to come, uh, it also uh, make, uh, give a meaning to the employees, uh, to the salespeople, that they are part of a uh, movement uh, to really benefit uh, customers at large, people at large. So that was uh, a, very, a very powerful force. The use of computers effectively can make a big difference in how a cooperative or a business organisation uh, perform. Of course, uh, that helped to give NTUC income a big push. Prior to that, uh, NTUC income was considered to be backward, to be slow. Uh, to provide quite poor service because we couldn't cope with large volumes. But with a good computer system, uh, suddenly the, the whole uh, scenario changed. Uh, we become very efficient. Uh, we were able to produce uh, billing uh, on time and uh, uh, can provide very good customer service. I still look upon those days uh, where I was actually the chief architect of the computer system quite fondly. Yeah? I benefited more, you know, by working in the cooperative, you know. I, I would say that it's the happiest time in my life. Because we are doing something good, the basic items we provide the benchmark. And because of that, it uh, sort of uh, helps to reduce the, the temptation of uh, other uh, 
other retailers to actually spike the prices when there is an opportunity, you know, whether it's a shortage or the cost of circumstances, they charge high, much higher prices. So because the benchmark, their prices can't be so far different from ours. So that itself is a satisfaction. Yeah. There are opportunities ahead. So we must seize these opportunities to if we want to have a cooperatives play a bigger role in the community. And to me, it's, uh, I think it's uh, imperative. <laughs> and I'd like to congratulate uh, all the cooperatives uh, for, for the hard work they do, and I would just say, keep it up. Uh, the best is yet to be. predecessors before me, I'm sure also had a, made a very positive, uh, a deep impression, a good one at that, amongst the, the international cooperative leaders. Uh, so when I stood for the elections then, I had strong support within, within SNCF and affiliates, affiliates. I think we had good support from the members, uh, various, whether they were from the Americas, the north side, the southern side, whether it's from the European region and the rest of the Asia Pacific. I think it was broad support across all, which was obviously very uh, comforting, very assuring uh, that our understanding of Singapore, of SNCF, or the core movement here is held in high regard. I believe that every single one of us here, every single one of us here, is, will derive a lot of satisfaction if you are able to make a difference to someone else's life. And through that, I think the cooperatives as a whole, and specific cooperatives are able to do that in a more tangible, in a more direct, in a more uh, uh, significant way, in a more regular way than any other, than any other uh, organization. So therefore, you know, the outlook for cooperatives is very positive mm, and for those who have had the chance to be part of the cooperative movement, uh, I think uh, they too will have many things to share and to know that they have indeed embarked on an interesting uh, career, one that will challenge them uh, mentally and allow them to also progress as a person and probably the most important one that will bring a lot of meaning to their lives because they are creating an impact for the, not just themselves but the community that they operate in.